Papa! Yes! Now today, Papa, I am going to be showing you all of my CSGO and CS2 collectibles, nice. which is actually mm. quite a lot of stuff. Yes! I'm not sure how I'm going to go through everything, so I think it's best we just start from right to left. Starting off with these. These are the CSGO or CS2 gloves, you see? Yes! Superconductors, we have vice gloves, and we have hedge mazes, but I think these are actually Lindas. So try one of them on and see if you can fit your hand. <laughs> They're good. Yes, vice gloves. Yes. Next up, Papa, this is kind of a weird thing. I wasn't sure if I should include it because I got this one as a gift from Blast when we went to the Blast Fall Finals event and that was their attempt at making a, a ski mask for me. So try it on, please. It's a very good ski mask. Yes, yes, very. <laughs> Hello, Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Nobody will recognize me now. No, very cool uh, mask. Yes. Now, next up, Papa, is actually this huge sign by Skins Monkey, which kind of isn't CS, but it still is CS, and I think it's very cool. And also, they are actually the sponsor of this video, which yes. is cool. Nice. So take it away, future anomaly. They're one of the best and easy to use trading sites for CSGO, and it's perfect for switching up your inventory to play with new skins, especially now for CS2. And by clicking the link in the description or using code ANOMALY, you get a deposit bonus of up to 35%, which is insane. And if you're making your first trade, you can also put code ANOMALY and you get up to $5 for free. Plus, they've got many nice extras like freebies for free skins and free balance and 24-7 support. So if you want to try them out, then please do so from the link in the description. And thank you once again, Skins Monkey, for sponsoring this video. Whoa, very cool, Papa. Hey, oh. Now, <laughs> hey, oh. <laughs> now, next up, Papa, we have this thing. It is a chicken. It is a chicken. From Counter-Strike. And it's officially licensed by Valve and Counter-Strike and everything. You can see Counter-Strike. If you turn him inside out, he turns into a neck pillow for when you're flying. So, yeah, this, this is like a weird thing. But, of course, I wanted to include it because he is so fucking cute. <laughs> Next up, Papa, on the subject of uh, sponsors, look at this. We have a Skin Baron with a custom name tag for me. That's very cool, right? Yeah. And these are very uh, rare, like hard to get. Only the top sellers and uh, I think some people who work with them get these, which is very cool. In this box also, Papa, we have another Baron figure. This one is actually, in my opinion, just as cool. And you can see it's written by the creator under here, Andreas Miller number one, and this one, Andreas Miller, number three. So these are actually very, very cool. This one features the Baron standing on a case with a karambit fade. Let's see if I can zoom in. There you go, you see? Very nice, and it's super detailed, actually. I don't know how he does it. I'm not sure if you've noticed already, but I love these, like, uh, memorabilia from sponsors I've worked with, which is really cool. Next up, Papa. <laughs> We have this one. I recently opened these uh, ones in my uh, Chinese merch video. These are officially licensed Counter-Strike products and they are a phone holder. So here, you can see, you put your phone here and boom, it's holding. Very cute and I have one unopened because I really liked this one. Next up, Papa, we have something here in the background which is very cool. This is a gigantic card, Papa. Here, hold him up. Wow. Yeah. This is, of course, Felusha. It is a CSGO trading card. So show the back of it. You see, it's made by Epix, who make all of the tradable, like, uh, CS cards. And show the front. And you see, it is signed by Felusha. These are very rare, Papa. These, uh, like, oversized signature cards. This one was a gift from Epix, which is very nice. Thank you. And it's pretty expensive. It's between, estimated, $1,500 and $2,000 or more. But I'm not gonna say Sell it. Stop. But I'm not gonna sell it because it was a gift. Yeah. But it is very cool. Also, you know, Flusha, Swedish player. Very cool. Crispy signature mm. by Flusha. But more on signatures mm. later with cards you can see over there. Because next we have these ones. These are small patch packs which contain the Silver Legendary Eagle Master Supreme and Global Elite. And also were from the Chinese Perfect World merch shop. And they look like this. Which is pretty cool. These are not, you know, worth anything. But 
but I think it's pretty cool nonetheless. Next up over here, Papa, all of the available plushy knives you can see. It's a Karambit fade, you have skeleton fade, another Karambit fade, I actually bought two. Karambit case hardened blue gem, Karambit tiger tooth, butterfly, crimson web, and M9 bayonet crimson web. This one by far looks the goofiest. <laughs> yeah. And this is not like something fake, this is official CSGO branded, you see CSGO everywhere. Here, you see? Valve and Perfect World. So this is like official merch, very cool, and in the West, very rare. Next up, something quick, just this Steel Series um, Neon Rider mouse. This one isn't rare or expensive or anything. It's still unopened and in there because uh, I like it more as a display thing than actually using it. Up here, we have more stuff from the uh, Chinese uh, merch shop. We have the number K uh, sleep mask that you use on a train or a flight. And we have these two fat boy plushies, which are very cool. Then down here, Papa, all of these are collectible mini figures from packs like these. Now this one is unopened and you see CSGO collectible figures. So there's eight to collect and one secret. So nine in total. This is series one. These four are the only ones I have from this set. Then the next nine are the entire set of series two. Two, which I also have an unopened booster box of, you see? This says Go Battle of Go Go 2, which features these nine, which I have the full set of, and a secret figure. I don't have the secret figure, I don't even know which one it is, so if you know, please let me know, because that's cool. But I have the nine regular ones, and these are very detailed, as you can see. Pretty cool display piece, in my opinion. Then we have these two things that I moved away from the booster box. These are more cards, but these are unopened, Papa. I actually have a full, like, box of these with unopened ones of these ones and later releases, but uh, I didn't want to show all of them because they're not that cool, but basically just a bunch of cards opened and unopened. Then I have this little boy, the uh, CSGO case in real life. Real life. And you can open it and put stuff inside. In this one, I have what you usually bought with it from the ESL store. These are the chicken heads. And I remember in the video I opened Open this, I was very unlucky because I basically only got the same one on repeat. But yeah, a little real life case that's pretty cool. Then, Papa, we have the elephant in the room this huge mm. cock. This is uh, the chicken, Papa, from yeah. CS, right? And it's printed on this very thick cardboard type material, mm. very thick. And it is semi official. This was actually a gift, I kind of stole it, not really a <laughs> gift, from the Blast Fall finals, Papa. Same place I got this one, I actually kind of stole this one. I put this in my luggage when I flew back, legit. I was uh, like, had to show it to TSA and they were like, what the fuck? But this is very cool. This is like a fun piece to have in the background. And of course I have the lanyard CSGO around him, also from the Chinese shop, which is actually a USB to USB-C cable secretly, which is kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. Moving over here, we have some of the more expensive things, Papa. So. These are the pins, also from that same CS China merch shop video. You have four different M9 bayonet, karambits, and butterfly knives, which is pretty cool, and you know they're pins, so you can put them on whatever you want. Next up, Papa, we move on to some more pins. These are still very cheap, also from that China merch shop. You have silver one and global elite pins. Now, here we have some of the, like, more common cards that are cool. We have a side Woo, but here the mint B4 is what's cool, you know, four out of a common, very low print, which is, you know, pretty, pretty yeah. cool. Then we have a first edition, A4, big common, A2, A4, and we have A3, which is pretty cool, A1, this is very cool, yeah. and it's a decently common card, so having the A1 is pretty cool, A2, Nico, which is very nice, A1, Sirison, which is very, very, very cool, we're gonna see a signature from him in a little while. Yeah. Then we have this one, simple goat card. I think I have a couple of those, yeah. Oh, I have more than a couple. I have th four, four of them. <laughs> Five of them! And then, oh, this is cool. White Centurion device. Yeah. Then we have another device, A47, very nice. Another device. Then we have simple white Centurion, A31. Then we have this one, Blame F, A11, black Centurion. Yeah. Then we have a simple, again, 
and Black Centurion A16. This is a really good card. And look at this, Papa. This is the last one. The Zaiwu Black Centurion A76. Also a very cool card. Nice. But what's even cooler are these cards which are signed. So we have Honda Signature. This is actually signed on the card, yeah. which is insane. How the fuck does a car sign a card? I don't know. See your song. Like I said, Papa, it's a number 9 out of 25. So only 25 of these were ever made. And then we have Fallen, number 7. Very cool. And finally, we have Nexa, which is even cooler because I actually sold some shoes to him mm -hmm. at the Copenhagen Major. Very, very cool. I also have these also from that Perfect World merch shop. These are signatures on the cards. Not like collectible like these, but still cool to have. We have Madden, we have K's, we have Yam Yung, Yam Yung, and K's. We have two duplicates, which yeah. is a bit sad. And finally, by far probably the coolest and most expensive card-related item I have would be these three. These are the original 2020 first edition release. I don't even think these were called first edition because there was only one edition. The 2020 Epix GG cards. Yeah. One of these boxes alone recently sold on eBay for $1,500, oh. which is very insane because these were sold by uh, Epix and ESL. I'm not sure what they cost, like maybe 60 bucks per box or something. So that's a pretty good return <laughs> on investment. It is. And then before we had on to the pins, I just want to show this one, which is pretty cool. From the Copenhagen Major, we have the Partner Lanyard, like PGL branded, and it says Major Copenhagen Partner. Nice. Very cool. And that was given to me at the event. Finally, Papa, mm -hmm. one collectible with CS that everyone knows, the pins. Here we have... <laughs> Here we have, Papa, the first release of pins, genuine pin collection number one. We have the two reds, two pinks, three purples, and four blues. Of course, these came with the codes and everything, but that's sick. Then we have pin collection number two, which is this one. Of course, also fully finished, completed. Yeah. And then pin collection number three, we have the Howl pin, which is one of the cooler ones to have in real life by far. And of course, it's also complete. You see, these are all the pins from all three of the general release collections. Yes. But, Papa, that is not it. Because I have some very, very cool pins. Okay. And that's starting with these four pins. Released at the 2024 CS2 Copenhagen Major, which you got if you attended the Major. These are pretty common because a lot of people attended the Major. So a lot of people will have these. But it's very cool to have all four of them, right? Very cool. Very. But did you know there's actually a secret hidden <laughs> fifth pin given out at the Copenhagen Major, which looks like this. You have the two different colors and it says CS, like the uh, first day pin right here. But instead of the Royal Arena, we have the city of Copenhagen. Very beautiful. Now, this was only given to staff at the event, okay. which is why it's very rare. But because I know a plug, he actually uh, is going to ship me his own one, which is really sick, yeah. so I can complete the collection. It's in literal shipping on its way to me. That's why I'm <laughs> displaying it on my phone. But that's cool. I bet a lot of people didn't know about that fifth pin. And finally, the uh, coolest collection of pins that I have are these. Now, as you may notice, these are on their own special board because, uh, and also they're spaced out very a lot because they are very expensive. Starting off with the Jean Shopping Winter 2014, which is very, very very cool. Then we have Kato 2015 pin. We have the Cluj Napoca 2015. Then we have the Cologne 2016 pin. We have the Cologne 2016 pin. Oh, sorry, I'm retarded. The Cologne 2015 pin. Then we have the Cologne 2016 pin. Then we have the Columbus 2016 pin. The Krakow 2017 pin. And finally, the Atlanta 2017 pin. These are so special and rare because they were only given to talent like casters or uh, analysts at the event or players. These are very, very, very rare, okay? And they're worth around six 
50 euro each per pin. I got these ones from Semler, very famous CSGO caster, which is cool. And we actually have one more in here. You can see Face It Major London 2018. And if we flip it up, oh, hey, London 2018 pin, which also should be on the board, but because it came in this very sick display uh, box, I'm just keeping it in the box, which is cool. And this one I did not get from Semler because I'm pretty sure he didn't attend this event, so he didn't have them. But this one was bought from Nato, who is a Finnish CSGO guy. Very cool guy. Juna Leppenen, I think his name is. Very Finland. So yeah, this is a very, very cool collection and very expensive. This is by far like the most expensive uh, collection I have. I think these are all of the major pins, if I'm not mistaken. I wouldn't say the staff pin is on the same level as these older pins, but if there are other pins that I'm not aware of, then please let me know. Even with these pins, most people don't know that they exist. If you know that one pin exists, that is from a major, not like, oh, for we, we got this in, uh, in, in Dallas. It's from the event where six people attended. <laughs> no, it needs to be from a major, which is official, because then it is connected to Valve, which is very cool. It doesn't actually say Valve on the back of them, which is a bit sad, but it's still very cool. So yeah, Papa, yeah. that is my collection of uh, CS and CS2, CS Go related things. Some very cheap, but very cool, and some very expensive, but very stupid. Oh, also, shit, I have a CS hat. I forgot about it. Wow, yeah. so cool. But I think this about sums it up for my Counter-Strike collection. It's definitely gonna keep growing now in CS2, because they're gonna keep releasing a lot of stuff. Every major is gonna have pins, they're gonna have more exclusive stuff, and hopefully we're gonna get a store similar to how the Perfect World has their store with a bunch of cool and exclusive items. Yes. Very cool, Papa. Very cool. And thank you guys for watching. Very nice. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>